A warm welcome to today's lesson and we have a quadratic equation here and we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve this. Now the first thing I like to do is to write down the values of A, B and C. So make these very clear. The value of A, well that's the coefficient of the x squared term which is 3. The B is the coefficient of the x term, obviously that's 5. And C, that is the constant. In this case, it's negative 1. And always be careful that you include any negatives in there. Now, the next step is the substitution step. So we've got minus B, which is 5, plus or minus the square root of B squared. So 5 squared minus 4 multiplied by A, which is 3 multiplied by c, which is negative 1. That's all over 2a, so 2, multiplied by 3. So that's the substitution step. There are no calculations at that point. And that's something I do want to stress in exam questions. There is usually a mark assigned for that substitution step. Okay, let's go ahead and do a little bit of tidying up here. We've got 5 squared, which is 25. We have this negative and this one, so it's going to be positive. And the 4 multiplied by the 3, oh, so that's 12. And that's over 6. So we've got minus 5, plus or minus the square root of 37, all over 6. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.